Supposedly there's a guy back in the 1960s who, as a hobby, would take cars in and work on them and scrap them for parts, you know. Oh, dude, this car is so sick. You can drift in these bad boys. This is really old. Wow. I've seen these in old classic movies. I think this is probably the biggest abandoned um, car graveyard in the whole world. I think we're almost here. Our first clue. In place inside these woods. I don't know where we are. We, of course, we're just wandering and wandering. This is what we wanted to do today. Wow, look at all this stuff just left here in the woods. So, let me start by, let's start off by saying this. First of all, just want to say I'm filming at 4K. I got a brand new lens, and I'm using a glide cam, so I might have smoother shots than usual. That's all I got to say for now. Holy moly. Wow. This is this. really old. Dude, I don't even know what that stands for. It's just, I mean, it's obviously. A Ford. It's an old Ford. Um, it's an, oh, yeah, look at that. Old Ford V8. Yeah, holy shit. I've never seen one of these before. I wasn't born yet. <laughs> I don't think we have too much time. The sun's already starting to come down. We gotta keep moving though. But we're getting closer. And, uh, uh, here we go. These woods don't ever end. I know, they don't. We're pretty deep in the woods. I don't know how much sunlight we got. Oh wow. A road. Finally something. Let's follow it. It might lead us to where we gotta go. We're on the road of greatness, John. We are. We are. If the rumors are true, then that means we're as close as we've ever been. What do you think? We're almost there. You see one car? Seems like if you go further in, we might see it. I it's hope small. so. Hi right, guys. I can start talking to you now. So pretty much there's rumors that there's tons and tons and tons of cars in the woods. But I'm talking about 200 acres worth. Like, we're going like, I don't know, like miles and miles of just cars. Left here abandoned for years, centuries. I had. All right, now you guys must be wondering, why are we in the woods right now? And why is there abandoned cars everywhere? Well, from what you've seen. So this is pretty much lots of rumors going on around the internet that there's an abandoned car graveyard somewhere. And we're here to find out where it is and if we can discover it. Now we've been walking through the woods for the past five hours and we finally just, and I've been, I haven't filmed until I wanted to find something. Something that could show that, you know, clues that we might be close. Another sign. Uh, yeah. Zoom in on that. I got it. it looks like there could be some more cars down there, yes. Okay. So, I'll give some history on the place, if it's even real. Supposedly there's a guy back in the 1960s who, as a hobby, would take cars in and work on them and scrap them for parts, you know, whatever. Anyways, I guess as time went on, days and months and years, he would wake up in the woods and more cars would just be randomly popping out. He would wake up every day and a new car would just be there. Don't know whose car it is, don't know nothing. He just, he just would wake up to cars. And this is going way back before maybe, like pretty much it became pretty much a junkyard. Years went on, he would wake up to fire trucks being there, police cars, just randomly in the woods. And so that's what happened. As, as Before it was a hobby, you know, he would take cars in he would, you know, he put up ads saying, hey, drop your car off, so-and-so. And, you know, I'll use them uh, for scrap. And to do so, I'll do you a favor by, you know, drunking your car for you so you don't have to deal with the, the broken car. Like I said, as, when, as time went on, he would wake up to see more and more cars every day just showing up randomly. He didn't know who car they were. He didn't know anything. During the end of the years, you know, it's now 2016, he didn't know what to do. He... He now was left with thousands 
and thousands and thousands of cars. And what do you know? We made it. Look at this. Cars are everywhere. And they're old, dude. Some cars, like I said, I mean, this is crazy. This is legit. This is like discovering the Atlantic City. Wow. We have a lot to explore. Now, let's see how far this really goes, though. Let's go check out these cars. Now, people have, t now, people have told me that if you can get there, you're going to see some old Mustangs. You're going to see sports cars. You're going to see old cars that dated back from the 40s. So, let's go see what's going on here. It's almost like an apocalypse, how the cars are just here in the woods, in the middle of nowhere. We have everything. Trucks, even school buses. Look over there. Look at that. Let me zoom up over there. <laughs> Look at that. Oops. Now we got school buses down there. Let's go over there. Wow. It says school blank department. They don't even say what school this is or nothing. It's not even wheels on it. It's so quiet. I'm just surrounded by tons and tons of cars, trucks work vehicles can't believe this I think this might be an old mail truck I'm not sure it's so rusted though everything is gutted out in the insides almost like the abandoned trolley place we went to hey look at this old sports car we've been walking now for about you know a good five minutes inside here and it keeps going and going and going Wait, what happened? I really don't even know where I am right now. Yeah, for real, me either, but I'm just enjoying this. Like, I'm so curious, like, dude, there could be like dead bodies in here. <laughs> yeah, let's find that pathway. Oh, dude, look at that, more school buses too. Dude, look at it, oh, these are oh, the old towing trucks. I've seen these in movies, oh, the wrong turn. Dude, I feel like I'm in the wrong turn, the movie. Those crazy uh, k killer hillbillies. Oh my god, a path. Yes. Wow. Dude, this car's cut in half. My god. So much stuff. So much metal and rust. And rims. Old motorcycles. So everything kind of looks the same right now, and I don't want to get lost in here. There is, there, there's not even service here. So we can take that way or go straight. John already chose to go straight, so I guess that's where we're going. You know, instead of a car graveyard, this might just be a school bus graveyard. There's two school buses down there. This one in particular, this one is like completely fading. This must have been here for like freaking 60, 70 years or something. My God. Tons of tires, a lot of car axles. This whole place just scrap metal. It almost looks like a junkyard. It could, you know, it, it, just all left here, abandoned. Now, think about how the city might feel about this. All this stuff is just sitting here in the woods. You never know. There's a car on top of another car. I wonder how they got up there. We came up to another right turn, or keep going straight. I guess we'll keep going straight. John's so far up ahead, I don't even know where he went anymore. I'm just too busy filming. He's exploring. If you just stay quiet enough, all you can hear is the sound of the wind. The old Wise Chips. I used to eat those a lot. They still make them to this day. I love that, that color. Like a, I don't even know, kind of like a light blue. I don't know, I just like it. You know what? Actually, let's go in here. Wow, it's so dark. I 
It's going down under here. Uh, oh, uh, whoops. Another really old car. Whoa. I'm like in a new dimension of abandoned cars. Another car on top of a car. This is so old. Jeez. I'm not really a car person at all, to be honest. Actually, look. See, I don't know much about cars at all. So I'm just gonna go, go check out all, all these cars. Like, oh, look at that car, look at that car. Because personally, I don't have any information on cars. I don't really know old cars or nothing. I just know Mustangs and I own a Mustang and I love Mustangs. Huh. Actually, I don't even know where I am anymore. I don't think I ever, I ever did. If anything, maybe I'll just yell John's name after. <coughs> what is that, old caution tape? Yeah. Wow. Look at that car. Look at that car. Look at that car. All right, anyway, sorry. Sorry for being annoying. This is, this is, this is a unique place, though. You gotta admit. I'm gonna find something this huge. I think... I don't think it, it feels like it never, it's never gonna end, to be honest. This right here looks like it's like, almost like part of a helicopter. Half of it. I think that's an old Mustang right there in the red. Let's go check that out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Well, it's gone now. I think I hear something in there. Could be just be a stuffed. Could just be an animal or something though. Should probably look for John. So lost. So much cars. Huh. So this is what it feels like. Oh God, you scared me. Damn, this car is upside down. I don't know. Maybe I'll never find the, the light again. Once this sun goes down, maybe I'm just lost forever. Oh dude, this car is so sick. You can drift in these bad boys. I wish this was still running, I'd probably buy it. See, what I, what, I, what I noticed is some of the road looks like it's been driven on, but it really, I don't think it even has been. Just a lot of rain and stuff, it's been raining a lot here. And some of these roads looks like it's just been here for years and leaves are over it, the grass has grown back. It's a really old mobile home. Got the Christmas tree. Damn. Kind of spooky, actually. Another tow truck. Got a nice engine there, and an open truck with nothing in it. Hmm. Try to show you all an idea of what I'm seeing right now. I've been walking for the past hour now. It just never ends with cars. It's pretty awesome. Could film a movie here. I think that this is a fine example that nothing lasts forever. Whoa, look at that car. Oh, I've seen these in old classic movies. This pink car right here, well, it used to be pink. Damn, if only it was restored. I would so ride this. 
It's on this old trailer too. What's this? Just a bunch of crap. God. I think I'm really deep in the woods now. I should probably, I'm gonna have to go find John now. It just never ends, that's the problem. I just threw my mask on, I'm getting a little cold. After all, it is January, but <clears throat> look at this. I'm not even sure what that is, to be honest. I don't know. I've been walking for quite some time. Ah, See, I got no service. Like, I, I think I said that before. I've been out here for the past, you know, good two, three hours now, I think. Um, and most of the time I haven't even been filming too much. I've been actually just exploring, seeing if I can find, you know, different stuff. I don't know, I don't really, like I said, I don't know anything <laughs> about cars. So I don't know what to film or what to say. I'm just, I just, I'm glad I found it. It's awesome, but now I'm stuck. <laughs> and it's like groups of cars all over here. It just keeps going. And the thing is, everything looks the same. There's just so many just junked cars everywhere. The apocalypse is real, everybody. Exploring with Josh here. This might be my last video ever if I can get out of here alive. <coughs> Damn, what is that? Is that an army truck? I think it is. It's an army truck. Whoa. This is cool actually. Oh. It was a medic truck. Holy sh Look at that. How the hell, how did that even get there? I think these are for like, um, horses and stuff. Actually, I don't even know. If there was a killer out here, he'll definitely get me. <laughs> but I run pretty quick. Um. I don't know. I think this is probably the biggest abandoned um, car graveyard in the whole world. If it is, then I'm here. I mean, I don't think, how could there even be a bigger one? I mean, this is, this is huge. Oh, and look at that bus. Bus way down there. It's silver, hey, look at that, there's, an, there's a milk truck right there. Closer, closer, closer. What the hell? That's cool. Whoa. These are some awesome classic cars right here. Look at those. It goes further. Huh. trying to find where I found that silver bus. I just pointed to it a minute ago. Maybe over here. Well, that sunray with this car in the picture gives a nice effect. I found it. It's like half yellow, half white. I found it. Only a little bit of it's still yellow. The rest is, I don't know, faded out. We can go in, I think. Now let's go in the bus. Ugh. 
Whoa. This bus was converted into like a, a house. Hey, there's even an old fridge. Damn. You know, one of the greatest things about exploring is you never know what you're gonna find. And even if I am lost in the woods with no service, it's, it's all part of the adventure. It's dangerous. I don't recommend anyone doing it. But for me, it gives me a nice thrill. Like, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm gonna find John. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. How far does this freaking go? This is going way too far. Like, how many cars are actually over here? Like, my God. I've never seen... There's way too many. No one could explore this in one day. That's for damn sure. Just don't know. It's just ridiculous. I mean, I'm, I'm just walking in random directions. It just never ends. I gotta find a way out of here. Dude, I love these cars so much. I wish they still worked. See, I apologize if this video ain't that interesting. It's just, it is what it is. You're inside in a, for a mile, I'm in the woods miles and miles deep, finding all these cool cars. But that's really about it. Um, I'm just trying to find my way back. I can get out of here. That's all I wanna do, is find my way out of here. <laughs> When I get out of here, I'm going to get some good chicken. That's for sure. Yep, talk about old. That's for sure. Can't get any older than this. I think I just got a little bit carried away. I was exploring into the depths of the abandoned unknown. Looking at all these cool cars and stuff. and I don't know, lost track of time and I just kept exploring. Now it's already going to get dark. In the next 40 minutes, the sun should be down, so hoping I can get out of here in time. Try to locate John, but I don't know. Everywhere I go, this turns. Turns and turns. Turns and turns and turns. Just gonna try to follow my instinct. Guess I'll hop over this. Shouldn't be too hard. You know, I think about this. There's cars and trash and junk all over here. It's just filled. This whole, this whole nature, we kind of destroyed it, if you think about it. I mean, this was once just, you know, nice woods and it's just screwed up. So it makes you, it makes you wonder, like, we're going to keep producing, right? We're going to keep making up all these products. And we're gonna eventually just keep on trashing more and more stuff. The trash is gonna build up. What are we gonna do like 100 years from now when we have so much trash? What are we gonna do? Just throw it into space? You know what I'm saying? It's weird if you think about it. I don't know, just random thoughts that's always going in my head. So, yeah, this is what I have to deal with. Which way do I go? Hmm. I wonder. Right here is the warning to leave this place or else the crazy hillbillies will get us. Oh, there's that, that's the sign you? That's the sign, means death. <laughs> Anyways, I found John. Found Josh. It was a good day. I've been lost for too long. It's over. <laughs> the fuck you do? <laughs> so I got John now, I guess it's good. We got out just in time. Well, we're about to leave right now, so I guess it worked out. Cool place though. Nothing that interesting for me at least. For car people though, they'll love this place. But I'm about to head out now. Got about a good two hour march through the woods. So, It'll see ya. By the time we're out. Yeah, it will definitely be dark when we get out of here. Gotta get some of that chicken at my house. I'm mad hungry. <laughs> Everyone go expo uh, follow Exploring with John. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I gotta go get some chicken. You know, I'm so hungry. Exploring gets me so hungry. Gotta go get that. Chicken. Chicken.